The farm bill President Obama signed ended $5 billion per year in automatic payments to farmers. This bill helps to clamp down on loopholes that allowed people to receive benefits year after year, whether they were planting crops or not. And it saves taxpayers hard-earned dollars by making sure that uh, we only support farmers when disaster strikes or prices drop. The new farm bill expands programs that buffer growers from bad weather or bad markets. It raises the minimum price growers are guaranteed for certain crops. And it offers subsidized insurance that guarantees farmers' incomes do not drop much from year to year. Those programs could create problems, says University of California at Davis economist Dan Sumner, who spoke to VOA via Skype. And that's the kind of uh, assurances that uh, the U.S. government is willing to provide that most farmers in the world, in fact, don't have access to. With the backing of the U.S. government, Sumner says U.S. farmers can produce more and export more. Ultimately, that drives down world prices, and it's a little tougher for the farmers in developing countries to compete with that. Subsidies pushed down world cotton prices in the early 2000s, and the U.S. lost a trade dispute over them. Sumner says the new farm bill could reopen that dispute. But growers groups note that trade rules do allow governments to pay a limited amount of subsidies. Dale Moore is policy chief at the American Farm Bureau Federation. We're pretty confident uh, that it would take an extremely bad situation uh, for us to even come close to violating those particular limits, something the United States hasn't come close to in years. Elsewhere in the Farm Bill, changes should help food aid get to more needy people around the world. Aid groups can spend more of the funding they receive buying food from markets near where it will be used rather than from the United States. Eric Munoz with Oxfam America spoke via Skype. Not only will that save money, but it will help uh, reach people faster. So the, the actual program of buying locally uh, is, is a much quicker response than buying food from the United States and shipping it. Munoz says with the same funding, help can now reach hundreds of thousands more hungry people. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Washington.